All right, we do have snow showing up on the radar, but notice how it's mainly right around the radar site in Mayville. You get too much farther away from that radar. It's not seeing what's actually taking place out there. So periods of light snow are going to continue off and on across our valley tonight, keeping our roads slippery. Combine that with these temperatures and look how cold it is in Jamestown. Five whole degrees, seven in Devil's Lake. We have 14 degrees in Bemidji right now. Roso has a balmy 16 and it's uh, 16 as well in Alexandria. Factor in the wind at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Wind chills are below zero to the west where we have those bitter cold temperatures, but also near zero in Lakes Country. Our Meyer forecast shows a couple of interesting trends. Overnight, our cloud chances should be decreasing. That's going to allow us to cool off very quickly as we go through the early overnight hours. So look what moves in by morning from the west. Uh, increase in clouds will actually cause temperatures in our western counties to jump up towards morning, but a chance of snow. So if you're out hunting across North Dakota, expect south winds and an increasing chance of snow as we go through the mid-morning hours, the James River Valley through the Devil's Lake Basin. Watch the areas of deep blue. That's where we'll have the bigger snowflakes or the higher uh, accumulation potentials as that drifts to the south and east slowly. As we go through the afternoon, you will see some snow along the Grand Forks uh, Devil's Lake uh, corridor on Highway 2 there. And the Southern Valley, all this reaches the Red River Valley by the time we get to midday. In the afternoon, it pushes across Minnesota but starts to lose a little bit of moisture. It's going to come with winds at about 15 to 20 miles per hour from the south, so reduce visibility and slippery road conditions will continue. And by this time, the late afternoon, many areas across eastern North Dakota will have accumulation on the ground. The system begins to exit as we go into our Saturday night. And snowfall potential, I would say this, one to three inches across a large swath from the Red River Valley into the uh, central part of the Dakotas. But we'll see two to four inch reports out there. So uh, take it easy out there on the road surfaces. And again, as the system drives up generally an inch to maybe two inches elsewhere from the Red River Valley eastward. Eight in the morning, warming up to 26, the best chance of snow in Fargo after the midday hour and into the evening. Temperatures tomorrow will warm up only into the low to mid 20s at best. And again, we'll have that chance of snow moving from west to east. All right, don't want to be the bearer of cold temperatures every day, but this cold air mass, Mike's favorite, the Arctic Blobcast, that's here, Mike. It stays right over us as we go through Wednesday, but then it's out of here for a few days, and we'll have a chance at actually seeing some November-like temperatures. And this guy preparing for a cold couple of days. Linda, thanks for capturing that squirrel there in Blanchard. Here's a look at your forecast for Sunday. Snow exits. We might have a few flurries across Minnesota. We're still in the 20s. More 20s on Monday and Tuesday. But Wednesday and Thursday, as we showed you, will warm up to about average for this time of the yeah, year. Yeah, this below average stuff. It kind of... <laughs> it's subpar, really. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thanks, Ash. You bet.